What is up, everybody? It is me, Devil Never Crown. We are back with another weapon guide for Virgil on DMC5 SE. This time, we're going over the Yamato weapon. As always, we're going to go through the moveset, the functions of some of its moves, some things to look out for when using this weapon. After this tutorial, the next video will be a trick guide, because I know that's been requested by many of you in the comments, but for now, let's focus on the Yamato. Everyone knows this weapon. It is synonymous with Virgil, power, and motivation. It's a katana that literally cuts through space and time. A weeb's biggest wet dream. So let's start with combo A. This is a simple four hit combo using the melee button. It's four inputs. Virgil finishes with a cross slash there. There are no delays in those inputs whatsoever, so uh, be on the lookout for that. Then we move on to combo B. This is two melee inputs followed by a delay and then a final melee input. Virgil sheathes his weapon there, embedding a summon sword or mirage blade as it's known in this game, straight into the enemy. So that moment that he finally sheathes his sword, the enemy pops up in the air. Pretty cool, just a detail to look out for. Uh, definitely worth factoring into some of your combos. You can follow up with uh, an assortment of moves there. Next up, we move on to the Yamato Combo C. This is three melee inputs, followed by a pause and then some mashing. The longer you mash, the longer that sequence will go on. Virgil lets loose with a flurry of blows from the Yamato, slicing and dicing his enemy carelessly. Culminating in a final move which uh, throws the enemy quite a ways away, so be sure to use the trick system to your advantage. There's a lot of moves that Virgil has with a multitude of his weapons that do end with a final hit that throws the enemy quite a distance. Kind of incentivizing you to just get back in there with the trick system. Now we move on to some more of his rudimentary moves, starting with the upper slash. Quite simple, this is lock on, back with the left stick and then the melee input. Virgil just pops the enemy up nice and quickly. If you press and hold the melee input, Virgil will actually follow the enemy into the air, allowing you to, uh, to get aerial with them and just style out with some aerial combos. That moves us on to the rapid slash. That is a lock-on, forward, and melee input. And Virgil will, as the name implies, slash rapidly towards the enemy. It's great for closing distance. Do take note, though, that if the enemy is quite close, you'll often overshoot the enemy. What's cool about this move is its stun property, as you can see here with an aerial enemy. There seems to be a flurry of hits as the game attempts to catch up with Virgil's move, leaving the enemy in sort of a suspended state, not just in air, but on the ground as well. If you take a look there, the enemy kind of, kind of jitters, <laughs> like he, uh, he took a shot of some dodgy red orbs. That's a pretty cool move, keep that in mind. If you press and hold the melee button during that move, you'll hit them with a rising star instead. This, as the name implies, rises both you and the enemy up into the air, allowing you to get creative with some aerial combos. But that does lead us on to some of the combos Virgil has at his disposal in mid-air, starting off with the aerial combo A. This is just three simple hits, standard aerial rave, ends with the enemy crashing down to the floor. Again, incentivizing you to get back into the fray with the trick system. For Aerial Rave B though, you're gonna want two melee inputs followed by a delay, followed by two more melee inputs. It's somewhat of a roulette spin. You and the enemy gain a little bit of height, followed by the enemy sent careening down to the ground allowing you to follow up with however you want. That does bring us onto the aerial cleave though, which in midair is the lock-on button, back and melee input, which as the name implies, Virgil comes cleaving with his sword straight down to the ground, actually bouncing the enemy up, which is pretty cool, allowing you to uh, get all kinds of combos going. Virgil does of course have the Judgment Cut system available with this weapon, but I've already covered that extensively in a separate video. But for a quick recap, Virgil can Judgment Cut out of any 
melee move with this weapon, which is awesome. One cool thing to note is that Virgil actually gets a pretty cool S-rank exclusive aerial taunt, which is kind of a throwback to the aerial ray from DMC3. He only does the first hit of it, unfortunately, and it can be jump cancelled. You have to be over an S rank to get this to proc. If you're at an A or below, Virgil will simply do his standard aerial taunt of him just throwing some summon swords and uh, lifting the enemy up in the air. Again, just something I thought I should touch upon as many people seem to wonder in the comments, what exactly is Virgil's aerial taunt? That does bring us on to one of my favorite moves for Virgil in this game, and that is the Void Slash. Many of you have seen this in the trailers and some of the footage, but the input for this is Lock On, Back to Forward, and Melee. Virgil cuts through the Void of Time, slowing any enemy in his wake. As soon as he sheathes his sword, it seems to be a sort of magnetism where the enemy is drawn forward, as if it too lacks power. You can obviously get the timing down for this in midair, you can do it to your heart's content. You can actually cancel out of this move by jumping. Um, the enemy will still be slowed slightly, um, but you, they won't get that magnetism because Virgil obviously doesn't sheathe his sword. And you can combo this up with uh, all sorts of moves and weapons. And that of course leads us to everyone's favorite move with the Yamato, or the Yamato, however you choose to pronounce the name. That is the Judgment Cut End, aka the Judgment Nut Never End. This super move is done just like the others with the other weapons that I covered. You have to lock on, then hold forward, and then press the trick and melee button at the same time. Of course, you have to be in Sin Devil Trigger and have a level 2 concentration, or you have to have a full Sin Devil Trigger bar and level 2 concentration. As the name implies, it is the Judgment Cut to end all Judgment Cuts. And next up I want to cover SDT and some SDT only things Virgil has at his disposal. The first I want to cover is the Yamato Combo A, which is now a 5 input combo. It's only 5 melee inputs, um, and it hugs back to a combo introduced in DMC4 SE for Virgil. Sends the enemy absolutely flying. That move does a lot of damage, so keep that in mind. The next thing I want to cover is the Yamato Combo B, which is quite similar to its non SDT variant, except this time the enemy gets sent flying a lot higher as it has a lot more swords embedded in it. And one more thing to keep in mind with SDT is that Rapid Slash becomes just as chaotic and as lethal as it was in DMC4 SE for Virgil, where you can just spam it to your heart's content. Of course, it still ends with the enemy going flying after. You do have to be careful though, otherwise you sometimes will get a Void Slash input. But Virgil does tend to quite easily just cross over the enemy, so you gotta be careful with your inputs. And so that brings us to the end of the Yamato guide. Let me know if there's anything else you feel I missed out or that I should have talked about. And of course, if there's anything else you want me to cover in regards to DMC5 SE, do let me know. Of course, if you enjoyed today's video, do be sure to leave a like and consider subscribing. That way you stay up to date with anything and everything Devil May Cry. And of course, if you're looking for more tutorials, there'll be a link in the description to the entire tutorial playlist just over 40 videos there. So yeah, with all of that said and done, it has been me, Devil Never Crow. I'd like to thank all of you for watching, and as always, I'll see you all next video.